Warning, Jack and his friends are professionals when it comes to the ocean, wind, waves, mothers, and being Florida men. Do not attempt any of what you're about to see at home. Welcome back to part two of Surviving Hurricane Adalia, the craziest, strongest storm I personally have ever experienced firsthand. If you guys enjoy what we do and you want to support the dream and help this video go viral, click the like button because revenue from these videos go directly towards hurricane relief. With that being said, if you haven't seen part one, check it out. The link's in the description and we're going to dive straight into the mayhem that is part two. Bro, the whole neighborhood is underwater. Oh my god. One foot of tide from Gulf Boulevard being underwater. Never seen that. I think this water is all coming from the ocean. The waves are washing up to here. Holy oh, sh! Funny note about these signs is I put them in my group chat and one of them belonged to my friend's aunt's condos. So we were able to return one. We also called the owners of the other one and they came and got it as well. The one sign washed five miles before we actually found it. And after, fa and after finding the signs, we were on the lookout for more stuff floating by when we saw a silver tin floating past. My friend Nick ran up and grabbed it and we both immediately felt creeped out. Once we opened it up, there was a rosary pictures of someone, the date of their passing, a few pins, and a bunch of plastic. I'm not 100% sure that there were human remains in there, but it seemed very likely. So we put it off to the side and figured we'd worry about that later. Oh, is 
that someone's ashes? I'm so scared right now. What the fuck <laughs> is this, bro? I don't know. See what it is. It's a cross. Seats are going, dude. At this point, we figured it would be a bright idea to walk to my dad's house. I wanted to go check and make sure that everything was all right. Into the parking lot. I'm actually curious to see how much higher the water is on Gulf after this. Oh! I can't tell. It's getting gnarly. We're hiding. Look, shine light right here. We are hidden, blocked away. Oh my God! Oh, dude, it's raining sideways. Oh my god! 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 Oh my
it's like 65, 70 right now. But I can't see shit. Oh, it's cold. Got trees in the line. <laughs> Hit the shower real quick. Nice. Nice. Pretty good band coming in. Look at golf right now. Holy sh Holy sh 55 sustained. This is by far the highest tide that I've ever seen where I live. While there wasn't that much extensive damage across the areas that I live in, if you guys saw our hurricane aftermath video, you know that some areas got hit really, really hard. Luckily, the hurricane didn't strike a very densely populated area like Pinellas County directly. If you're asking me, I think we absolutely dodged a bullet on this one. If that storm was just a little bit closer to Pinellas County, many, many homes would have been destroyed. Uh, the water was only about two feet from getting in the entire bottom floor of my house. That's not something that I've ever even close to seen. That was due to the supermoon as well. It's been a crazy week. I flew the drone up and down the beach to film the aftermath. Uh, some of the sea outs got ripped out, but yeah, again, I think we got very lucky. Until next time, the tropics are heating up. There's a lot more hurricanes on the way. We are in the peak of hurricane season right now. So um, it's very likely that you guys will see me soon for another hurricane update. Thank you guys so much for supporting the dream, supporting what we do. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you soon for a new video. Jack, wait, what about my Contra prank in the news? Yeah, that's too good to go in this video. That's already fire. We're going to have to call that Hurricane Adalia Part 3. Come back tomorrow to see how Dick Savage pulled off pranking the entire state of Florida again.